Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and it is finally time. Because yesterday, February 1st, 2023, was officially day one of filming for Blumhouse's upcoming live action Five Nights at Freddy's film. Apologies, I'm so red. I did just get out of the shower, but of course I had to make a video because yesterday, because it was day one of filming, we got a whole bunch of details on how production's going. A whole bunch of posts from actors and also an official behind the scenes look from Jason Blum himself. And heck, even on day one, we're getting some leaks about some brand new scenes we're gonna see in the film. So if you're excited, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're brand new, give it a little tickle in celebration for day one of the filming. And without further ado let's just hop right into it very quickly though just to make sure everyone's on the same page I'm gonna go through some of the cast and crew involved with the film I did just make a video a couple days going in depth more with these cast and crew members so if you want more details that video is gonna be linked down below but very quickly let's rapid fire through some of these guys first up we have Jim Henson's creature workshop making the animatronic costumes themselves Emma Tammy's the director the writers are Scott Cawthon Seth Cudback and Emma Tammy and of course Blumhouse and Jason Blum who's the head of Blumhouse are gonna be producing the film as for cast members, we have Matthew Lillard playing William Afton, Joss Hutcherson as Mike Schmidt, Elizabeth Lale as Vanessa, Barry Stewart Masterson as a female villain, Piper Rubio as Mike's younger sister Abby, and actually at the end of that video we talked about actress Kat Connor Sterling, who was rumored to be playing yet another brand new character named Max. And as we're going to see later on, she is officially confirmed to be in the film, so there's yet another brand new character. And actually since that recording, we got three brand new cast members revealed. First up is Lucas Grant, who's been cast as Garrett. A lot of people are speculating just off appearance alone. Could be the crying child, the younger brother of Mike, the other brother to Abby. Though that is not confirmed, we of course have no clue who Garrett is supposed to be. Next up, we have Joe Thiel Love, cast as Ghost Kid number five, interestingly enough. And then we also have Ghost Kid number three, though we're not entirely sure who their act is going to be. Of course, the most likely explanation for these five ghost kids is that they're going to be the missing children possessing the characters. Once again, that's just speculation, but because they're called ghost kids and there's five of them, the five missing children just seem like the most plausible explanation. And now we move on to some of the more recent news involving the actual filming of the FNAF film. Because on the very last day of January, Mary Stuart Masterson, who again is going to be playing a unnamed female villain in the film, posted to her Instagram saying, I hate leaving home, I miss my family too much, but sometimes I get to work in magical places like New Orleans. I hear my room is haunted. Bring it on. Thank you at Blumhouse for the opportunity to play for a living. Hashtag FNAF here, I come. And then yesterday, the first day of filming, we also had Kat Connor Sterling post her, her Instagram story, morning, in what appears to be her trailer, getting her makeup done for day one. And then we also had Piper Rubio playing Abby, post to once again her Instagram story with just an adorable cupcake of Freddy Fazbear also jamming out to the Living Tombstone FNAF 1 song, as we can see on the top of the uh, top of the screen. <laughs> Which, if you ask me, this just has to be the best way to kick off filming. Freddy Fazbear Pancakes and the Living Tombstone, come on. And then later on in the day, we got Jason Blum himself coming in clutch with some behind-the-scenes set photos. As you can see, this photo is of a TV display screen showing off all the views they have for each camera. And of course, they just had to put the clapper right in front of this actor's face, so we don't know necessarily who they're going to be. A lot of people are speculating that is Matthew Lillard in the role of William Afton because it looks like he's wearing a purple shirt underneath his vest. You can also see on the clappers themselves the logo for the production name for the film. Again, I want to remind everyone this is the production code name for the film. It says bad cupcake that is not going to be the official film title when it releases it's of course going to be called five nights at freddy's but just for behind the scenes things with hiring actors and you know trying to stay as mysterious as possible when casting roles and such a lot of films choose to go by a code name or a production name and in this case fnaf's is uh bad cupcake and that font for that logo is going to be very important later on, so keep that in mind. Sticking with this set photo just a bit more from Jason, based off of this picture, it looks like we're in some sort of diner, not necessarily known if it's going to be Freddy Fazbear's or maybe Fredbear's, or it could just be a stereotypical regular diner that has no affiliation with Freddy's. But it looks like at some point in the film, we're going to have two or so actors sit down in a diner to have some discussions. And also right in the middle of these TV displays is a Vanny piece of merchandise. A lot of people are jumping to some pretty out there conclusions with this piece of merchandise just randomly behind the scenes, claiming that, oh, because they have that behind the scenes, Vanny's gonna make an appearance, which 
I guess maybe could happen because we do have Vanessa on the film, but I just think that's way too close to later games and Security Breach to be in a first movie, you know? So I don't think Vanny's going to be in the film. I think they just wanted to have a bit of decoration for behind the scenes for the people working on the film. And speaking of people working on this film, quote retweeting this tweet by Jason was Matthew Lillard himself saying, let's go hashtag Afton. And now for just a bit more behind the scenes, we have Kat Connor Sterling, who once again is going to be playing Max, posting to her Instagram a video going over day one of filming. You can see in the video she shows up in her trailer, getting her hair and makeup done, getting ready for rehearsal, saying how rehearsal went very well, how she got into costume, but she's not allowed to show us the costume, as well as what appears to be a director chair with the word cast in the same font that Bad Cupcake was in on the, you know, little clicker in Jason's tweet. So just more confirmation that Max is going to be a brand new character played by Kat in the film. And luckily it seems like, at least according to Kat, looks like everything went well on day one. Though they did film for 10 hours, which, whoo boy, that's a long time. Especially because according to Kat, it was only one scene, but hopefully it turned out pretty good. At the end of the TikTok, she says just how exhausted she is on day one. So hopefully she gets some pretty good rest. And speaking of behind the scenes TikToks, actually, we just got a leak, boys. I'm not even messed around because this TikTok that gave us a behind the scenes look at a scene that we're probably not supposed to know about that's going to be in the film was deleted. This was apparently recorded by a tech scout, which is someone who goes out to scenes and locations that are going to be in films and kind of scope out the scene, plan out how filming's going to go, where exactly they need to put cameras and lights and, you know, technical stuff like that. That's why it's called a tech scout. And you can see the location they're scouting out is a house in the woods. Now, where have we seen a house in a woods before? Well, let me point your attention towards the FNAF 4 title screen. You can see the house that they're scoping out for filming looks very similar to the house we see in FNAF 4. And also, a lot of people are pointing out Midnight Motorist as well. That's also a FNAF house that's located in a forest. So this very well could be a location for the Afton's residence. That's going to be very exciting to see them actually interact if that's going to be the family house. Something I forgot to mention was that they're also looking for cars from the 90s, 80s, and 70s for filming. Mainly the 90s, but because they're also looking for 80s and 70s films, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a couple flashbacks. Who knows, maybe this house is part of one of those flashbacks and we see William Afton driving up with a classy 1970s car. But oh my gosh, how is this day one of filming, day two of filming as I'm recording this video and when it's gonna go up? And we already have so much stuff. Personally, for me, it is not settled in just yet that the FNAF movie is actually filming right now and that most likely sometime later this year, I'm going to be sitting in a theater watching the FNAF movie, but I'm sure it's going to set in at any point now, and pretty soon I'm just going to be lying straight up in my bed like, oh my gosh, it's finally freaking happening. Like seven years later, we're finally getting this film. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the brand new FNAF movie actors and also cast and set photos. How do you feel about the potential leak from a tech scout who actually showed off? Again, probably a location we're not supposed to know about just yet. All that and more, I'd love to know what you have to say in the comments down below. Let's get some discussions going. Day one of filming, very exciting. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.